me tell you what God did for me and my family yesterday right after we visited our son's grave at the United States Naval Academy. It was a hard day. We'd been sitting there by Luke's grave, my wife and me and our daughter. We had prayed, we had read scripture, we had cried. And as we sat there, a storm came in. The heavens were thundering, just rumbling, and the dark clouds were threatening to just pour a storm on us at, at any moment. We were probably a good mile and a half to two miles from our vehicle. It's going to be a long, cold, and wet walk back to where we were parked. And as we were walking away from the grave, I looked up into heaven and I silently prayed, God, can you not give us a break? On top of all the pain and the heartache of this day, are we, are we going to be now drenched to the bone by the time that we get back to the vehicle? And I tell you, no sooner had I voiced that prayer in my mind before a car pulled up beside us. And a guy rolled down his window and he said, hey, can I give you folks a ride? Without a moment's hesitation, we got in. Turns out he was an FBI agent working and teaching at Quantico who just happened to be on campus that day. He drove up and we got in, almost immediately started to pour. And he drove us the mile and a half to two miles back to our car. And along the way we visited and he told us a little bit about himself and we told him a little bit about ourselves and what we were doing on campus. His name is Nick. And as Nick dropped us off and my wife and daughter and I walked to our car and got in. All three of us were just overwhelmed because it was pretty obvious that God had sent Nick that day. God had sent him to do more than simply answer my prayer. I wanted God to just make the rain hold off. God sent us someone to give us a ride and to provide an encouraging word and to give us a little bit of relief on what was a very hard day already. It's a reminder that God does hear our prayers. God does care. And even if it's in something seemingly minor like keeping us from getting drenched to the bone, he's there providing us with answers to our prayers and mercy in the midst of our misery and always that divine heart of love that cares about us, his children. So thanks be to God for his mercy and thanks be to God that he hears and he answers. He's the kind of God who always has his heart directed toward us.